The DBStatic CSS file cache is a great way to improve your page speed, but let's face it, sometimes it messes up the design. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to schedule the clearing of the DB cache on a regular basis, like every day, every week, twice a month, or at any interval that you would like. I'm Victor from DiviMundo.com. Let's get started. You'll find all the resources needed in this blog post on divimundo.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can find the link in the description below the video. Okay, so let's head over to our test website. And the thing that we want to achieve here is that we want to trigger this to clear the static CSS file generation on a schedule. And this is actually pretty easy to do. So there is no built-in option for this in Divi but we can use a free plugin called WP Control to create this. So I'll go to plugins and I'll click add new. And from here, I'll search for WP C R O N T R O L. And it's not WP Control, it's WP Control. So this is a little bit of a pun because cron jobs or WP Cron is the method for schedule things uh, automatically in WordPress. So I'll install this plugin and uh, this will not change anything on your website when you activate it. So you can just go on and click activate. Now, if we head over to settings, no, sorry, tools and cron events, you get a list of all the cron events running on your website, on your WordPress installation. And if you see the WordPress logo here, it's default WordPress core cron jobs. But then you will probably see a few additional ones. I don't have too many plugins installed on this site. So I only have one additional here. And that's called ET core page resource auto clear. And this is actually a cron event that is added by Divi. And it automatically clears the Divi static CSS file cache once monthly. So this is already happening on your website. Uh, you don't need to install this plugin to, to activate that. Uh, this just shows that it's happening in the background. Uh, and I guess most Divi users are not aware of this. And uh, if you want to change that, we can just go to edit. And I will edit this hook name, ET Core page resources, resource auto clear. And uh, we can set the next run. And uh, we can say that we want this run to be now. And now we go down to recurrence. And this is where we set the schedule for clearing the DV cache automatically. So by default, it's once monthly, but I can set it to once weekly, once daily, twice daily, or once hourly, or I can turn it off by saying non-repeating. So maybe I want it to be cleared every day. So I'll choose that. And I can, of course, choose a time here, or I can say that it should be cleared now and uh, at this time every day. So I click update event. And now if we have a look at this list, we can see that this ET core page resource auto clear uh, was just cleared uh, or did just run now. So I had to refresh the page. We have it down here now in the list. So it will run in 23 hours and 59 minutes and it's scheduled to once daily. So my new schedule is up and running. And if you want to change those periods, maybe you want it to run, I don't know, twice weekly or so, you can of course tweak this by going to settings and cron schedules. And here you see the default list. And now we can add a new one. Let's see here. So weekly, you can see it's set in seconds actually. So a week is 604,800 seconds. Good to know. So we can call this one that could be written like this, as you can see here in the list. And the display name could be like this weekly. And I just happen to know that that is 302,400 seconds. So I'll add that, that uh, cron schedule. And now we can see that we have the twice weekly. And I can go back to tools, 
There we have it, and cron events. And let's find the ET core. And now if you have a hard time finding this, because maybe you have like 100 cron jobs running, you can search for hook names here. So just search ET underscore and hit enter, and then it will filter out this one. And click edit. And now we can choose from the recurrence list. We have twice weekly now. And I'll say that next round should be now. So it will start by now. I will refresh the page. And now we can see that the ET core page resource auto clear will run in three days and 11 hours. It's running twice weekly.